Hey guys, it's Casey. So today we went welcome to my blog and we will go to the high school tour and and here, I'm here with my I'm here with my homie over there. And what you say? My first year I'm getting Be sure to subscribe my YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like leave a like on the video. So Oh yeah, Casey. So we're going to we're going to high school, like I said. Casey in the coat, give me. Nobody gonna watch your vlog. Casey. Make sure y'all subscribe to my Instagram. So I don't know, I don't know what my, I don't know what my future school gonna be look like when I when I grow up next year. And, um, it's cold outside. You making it hot. Damn. I think we getting close. Yep. Shout out to those girl. Yeah, I'm going to put my YouTube in the description below. Getting close. This is my... Getting close to high school. My YouTube will be in the description below. And this is all the uh, tennis, baseball, and all that sport. So. Are you going to vlog when you get in there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I... I don't know. I don't know if you can vlog. Yeah, they let you have your phone. Get to my school right there next year. You got the iPhone next year? Yeah. Oh. You got the iPhone 11. You got the iPhone 11. No, I got an iPhone 7 Plus. Get to, get to a large, get to the big old building, bus and service. Like, look how many kids are there. Can you imagine getting lost in in school? Yeah, you can get lost in school for no reason. How they recording me? This year? Um, so, I might have to record in my... So, we're in the high school. Why you take I, all those pictures of my and, phone, both of y'all? And I cannot pick up my phone because I'm scared. Why you take those I'm pictures so of my phone? So, if my phone gets taken away, Let me, you I finally might have came to pay to school. $20. Good morning. With the microphone. It really don't matter. With the microphone. It really don't matter. Okay, okay. All right. Everybody in this auditorium, last Friday, unless you were absent from JMS, should have seen myself, Ms. Stevens, Ms. Boyd, and Ms. Smith at the middle school. First off, it's nice to see you two Fridays in a row. Second of all, you ought to look around, listen, and get a feel for how you are right now. That is the expectation here. That when it's time to focus and it's time to lock in, that you are focused and you are locked in. It's going to be a great day. I'm going to tell you a little bit here in a few seconds. But first off, I want to introduce some very, very, extremely important people to you. Okay, first off is Mr. Jeff Boyd, CTE Director, who came last week. Ms. Sarah Stevens. Ms. Natasha Robinson Harris, Counselor. Ms. Sharon Lofton, Counselor. Ms. Jan Lewis, Counselor. Ms. Doris Smith, who met last week, who will be your counselor. Ms. Don Bauer, assistant principal. Anybody else from the hospital want to get I think you know all the other guys. Behind me are some of our best and brightest. Okay? And you will see that they look just like you. Different races, different backgrounds, different family. But they're here because they're part of the JHS family and they're going to show you around today. 
And we expect them to be great, just like we want you to be great. Okay? In a few minutes, you're going to be dismissed. You're going to divide into groups. And some of these great young people will take you around and show you different aspects of our school. A few things to touch upon. One, you will experience a class change. Now, I'm going to tell you something you might not know. It is vastly different than a class change at Jacksonville Middle School. Is that too much to understand? I don't think so. Okay? You're going to see a lot of kids moving fast, moving with purpose. They got five minutes. And we don't have any kids starting here. They move with urgency. Okay? So you might want to step out of the way, give a little wave, don't give a big pound and a hug because you're about to make somebody late. You're going to experience a class change. We want you to see that. Okay? Second thing, you're going to see the CT building. Cafeteria, main hallway. First thing, you're going to experience a class change. Next thing, when you see a JHS teacher, I want you to smile, look him in the eye, and say good morning. There's an old commercial that says you never get a second chance to make your first impression. That's still the truth. Okay? Make it through one. Class change, make a good first impression. Number three, if you have any questions that these great people can't answer, and your JMS teachers can't answer, please let me, Mr. Boyd, or one of the counselors know who will get that question answered for you. Mr. Boyd, is there anything else I need to touch upon before we turn everybody loose? So you guys have a great day. We want to see some smiles. Lock in, focus, and get ready, baby. Okay? Because in a few months, you'll be in the big place up here. Okay? And God, Jeff, we'll start. So, my <laughs> so that was that was all that was all cool. So, you see all the day in there. So. So the auditor was so, so the auditor was just fine and um really good. JHH is really good. Yeah, now we're going to see how it is at the uh. Yeah, now we're going um I think this way, like this way. Let's see how it is. Let me get ran over. I'm laughing. Oh, no. Look, the main building. She's going to get blind. Casey in the cut. Doing vlogs. Casey in the cut. Yeah, but then I have a camera. Put it down, put it down. Teach her up there. Teach her up there. I gotta stay by Casey, don't put the camera at me, bro. No, 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 Long enough. Did you get that pendant off? Oh, This is all the hype. Why do you do that? I thought it was class. We all remember we are still inside of school. Okay, there are people having class here. Oh, shit. We got a shoe back. Up against the wall. Y'all stop winking. We got to change all the things. I know all the high school of watch. I'm going to be more. Hey. 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 People are still having Look. All the names. And all the names. <laughs>
Okay, the the bell has been rung for the second time. Hey Casey. Hey. Sorry, I'm blogging, so I can't talk. Oh, you blogging? Yeah. And um, we just chilling around. Like, look at this wall. Good. Everything good. Everything good. Here it comes. English hall. So that was the English hall, and that was, and that's the band hall. And this is the band hall. Everywhere is done. This is a high school. My net class. So we done. Where's Casey, bro? Oh yeah, Casey. Casey can I be in your vlog? And this is it. You there? Okay. okay, we just passed the cafeteria, but I can't record it because my teacher has saved. The teacher says I have to put my phone, so here's the thing. Swear to God. Me walk by me. So we're going on 442 building. We passed. So yeah, this is an art class. This is all the art class. Ace. I'm scared. Uh, that was the art class and <laughs> and that was short. Can you give me like this in high school with the vlog every two twenty four seven? Yeah. That's where you headed is one of our computer lab rooms, uh, used mainly for uh, different certification programs and uh, testing. And then um, class is not meeting in the classroom to the right right here right now. That is Miss Kennedy. So this is Kennedy. <laughs> you want to tell them about your program, Miss Kennedy? Um, I do hospitality and tourism with a focus on travel and tourism. Fashion design and interior design. They're all very interesting. If you're interested in the culinary arts program, the first course you take in that pathway is the hospitality and tourism course. Okay. Okay.
graduating and take with you businesses will hire you because you have those certifications and you have that experience already done and over with. So, and like I said, it is a bill credit class. I um, also teach accounting and principles of business. Principles of business is a little variety of all the business, economics, uh, marketing, finance, all that kind of stuff. So, that's what we do in here. And I'm the computer lab here in Colorado. See what she gonna remember. Me. Shout out all this high school student for into the classroom. Two programs: the EMT program and the uh, medical, assistant. Med medical assistant program. And what both of those are are programs that pretty much get you a job that you could have right out of high school, probably even like during the summer or not. Never mind, that's right out of high school. But this consists of 
two period classes where you work on medical stuff, pretty much. You either work on being an EMT or you work on being a medical assistant. You learn a whole bunch of things, either all in one semester or all in two semesters. And then if you're in that class, you have or you get to go on what they call clinicals. No, not clinicals. Rotations. Rotations. They're pretty much the same thing. Where you get to go over there to the hospital, either Trinity or UT. Is it UT first semester? UT first semester and then Trinity the second semester. And then you get to shadow, you get to watch a surgery, you get to watch a birth, you get to watch people put in IVs, all that good stuff. You, but you just shadow. And then for this class, you don't start clinicals on the first semester, you start them on the second semester. And maybe even like a little late into the second semester. And then clinicals, we pretty much go on the back of an ambulance and actually do hands-on stuff. We work directly with the patient, we talk to the patient, we go on scene, and then we're working with a paramedic and probably another EMT. Not sure yet, but we're gonna be doing hands-on stuff. And we're gonna actually pretty much work on the Y'all have any questions about it? So it's a four-year program, health science is four years. So if you're interested in um, going into a medical career, it's a four-year program. And to become a senior, uh, like in this kind of program, we look for your grades for the first three years of high school, your attendance, and discipline. Um, I usually have about 75 juniors, and that number typically reduces down to about 25. So it is competitive and selective. So we want you to be good citizens on campus, number one. I can't take you out in public to deal with real patients and physicians and nurses if you can't act right in a high school setting. So I look at that first and foremost, and then you have to have good grades and good attendance. And then you're in, you can pick the program that you wanna be in, and you could um, have a certification when you graduate to get a job. Do you have any questions? So that was quick, and that was, uh, it's a doctor class, something like nurse class or surgery class. We didn't know, but right now we're going on the next one. Oh my god, cover your nose. Look at it. Yeah. Let me get my cowboy on the bus. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at it. What's that? I turned my butt. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm Mr. Couchman. I'm the Ag Mac welding teacher. Now, I know there's a lot of females in here. Let me tell you, some of the best welders in the country are females. A girl will outweld a guy almost 90% of the time. The reason, they pay attention to detail and they are a have a little bit steadier of a hand. As you can see, we got some projects going, but th those guys over there are welding in the booths just practicing, warming up. You can build projects, everything. We've got four trailers being built right now. And then we got a hog trap right there. We did this for baseball, it's for the baseball team. So there's a lot of projects that you can do, and they can be small projects. Example, a welder right out of high school, you can from $18 to $20 an hour, starting out. I've got a former student right now that started out about $25 an hour down in Houston as a TIG welder. It's a specialized welding. Right now he's making over $200 an hour because he specializes in aluminum TIG welding. That's a pretty good salary, people. 
make a lot of money and have a really good career in, in welding if you want. But there's a lot of things, the ag program it consists of all sorts of different items. Most of you would have Mr. Stewart first through because he teaches all the freshman classes as they come in. And then you spread out in different specialized areas after that. Any questions? No, sir. Okay, that was great. Okay, Boomer. That was so fucking great. Oh. I never want to work this never again. Like, this place so horrifying. So much so, oh, I see Asia. Oh, yeah, Casey. Hey, what's up, vlog? My YouTube will be down in the description below. Go check it out. Yeah, be sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video, like I said in the earlier. Then go subscribe to mine. Mm -hmm. Hey. So the next, next one is the engine shop class. I an IDS. I don't know what IDS means. Look at this. Hey, can I can I allow to hey, can I allow to report? Wow, look at this. Ooh, my my father has that. I mean, my stepfather has that thing. Excuse me. So you introduce me. That's Do a lot of people wear headphones? No, again. Oh. I know. Mm-hmm. Casey sent me those videos. Okay. Oh, oh. Jeff, Snapchat, yes. Instagram? Yeah. So why you blocked me on Instagram? I don't know, I don't use that. Which one? Can you can you tell him a little bit about your class? What's up, Cameron? What's up? I was trying to talk to you. Well, none of the high schoolers know me. Three-year program starts tonight. Goes to eleventh or twelfth. Okay. We have now about 125 students. The third year is the advanced class. That's when they build commercial projects like the go karts and that sort of thing down there. So we all we have brand new engines. Some brand new stuff that we work on. Any questions? No, All right, thank you very much. Right, so that was good. The engine shop class. And oh, it was really good. But I don't want to work there. I, I might die. I'm going to take control of the vlog now. This is the clip. I'm taking control of the vlog. No, you don't need to take care of it. Nobody likes it. So yeah, that's all good. I think we're about to leave. I don't, I'm not I'm not sure if we And today. So we're in the outside of the experience in technology. So. 
So we're going on it. I thought we're going up there, but I think we're going down. This is a choir class. <laughs> Man or not. This is back. This is a back. So we're back in again. We're back at it again. This is the Sometimes they meet in here, like in HS and Key Club. You'll meet in here, or if there's something that the principal's got, the yeah, meet in there, usually. So, come this way. This is the main hall. So, all of your classes are mostly in this hallway. Okay, so that is the way to go to the counselor's office. So, if you want to go to talk to your counselor about any of the classes, you can go through there. And then if you're a tidbit and you want to ask some questions about your tidbit, you can go through there. And you go to your brokerage stores and they'll lead you to the main office. So you can call. You go there, there's a desk, a room, this one. That's what you're looking for. And then that is the library. So, you want to read a book, you can go in there, or you have some classes that you need to touch up on work, you can go in there and have some pieces of quiet. And so, practice. And then right here is the nurse's office. So, you know, you hurt yourself, something happens. Nurse's office right there. I'm curious what these people are doing. This is called photojournalism. Uh, it's a, a principal's class for uh, if you want to do yearbook or, or if you want to do newspaper, you're also in this class and you have to take principles of journalism instead. So, this is uh, that class. So down this hall, that all that hallway down that way is the math hall. So if you have any math classes, go down that hallway. And then your slot and your history classes are usually in these little cubbies. There's like four different classrooms in those cubbies. So if you have a history class, you're in there. And then your Spanish classes are are down these two hallways. Again, taking all your Spanish classes, they're down this hallway and the one down there. And then, and then there's two science halls. There are two little cubby little hallways. One is down that way, in turn, and one is down this way. And then this is the computer lab with the night hallway. And then, and there is a testing coordinator. So if you're taking uh, any of like AP classes, classes you need to do the testing. There you go. And then here is the college thing and it added. 
Okay, so that hallway is the science hall? Okay. So if you ever do get lost, school is really easy to figure out. So all the math halls, like one, uh, is the one, one, all of this is called the 100 hall. And the math hall is like the 110s, and all the Spanish halls are the uh, 120s, and those are 30, and then these are 40s. And then the English hall is the 200 hall. And if you have class that's labeled 300, or 400, if, if, you're a, all your class, if you have a class that's labeled 400, you are in the CTE building. If your class is 300, that means you have band. right across from the auditorium. So whenever y'all enter the door, to the right was the gym. Uh -huh. And you know where the athlete go? What? You know where the athlete go? Hey, do you know that? What? Athletes. Oh, the, at the field house is over there where it says home of the Indians. Mm -hmm. It's like where football and baseball go and yeah. where soccer goes, it's like right here. It's mm -hmm. right the buses. So that's where the basketball is? Yeah, basketball is like right here. This is a, this is a basketball locker room, but we can't go in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's take it in your eyes. Let's see. Here. Here. Can you give us a cloud? Elliot. TCG, two big guys. Here. Xavier. Here. I want to see Leda. your five again. Mario. Eric. Oh, picture. Here. Hey, Sue. 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 Hey, Sue.
So guys, that was all the video and be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. So see y'all later, here come my outro.